Academy members are acutely aware of the importance of diagnosing and treating malnutrition. And so a few years ago, the Academy, along with Avalar Health and Abbott, got together to create the Malnutrition Quality Improvement Initiative, or MQII. The cliche that food is medicine is really true. Food is medicine. It's the basis of our health. It's the basis of our health care. UNC Hospital at Chapel Hill, it's a 950 bed teaching hospital and it serves all the residents around North Carolina and neighboring states. Patients when they come here to our hospital are not always in the best state nutritionally and we need to address and figure out how to help manage not only their disease process but also the nutrition associated with that. Malnutrition matters because it's the foundation of their illness, chronic disease, prevention, recovery, and it's underdiagnosed in most institutions. We know that. In 2017, I was contacted by a UNC physician who brought forth the MQII initiative, and I said, absolutely, we need to be doing this. Let's get started. MQII is a national quality improvement effort that dietitians are a natural leader for, and it provides a construct to address gaps in malnutrition quality and care and to introduce evidence-based practice in institutions. It's given us a chance to put nutrition out in front of the table for all of our patients' care. The data that they collected from the initial MQII project was fascinating, and so when I had the opportunity to come onto this project, the answer was a resounding yes. Malnutrition is one of those sleeping diagnoses. However, it still goes under the radar. If you don't have the components from nutrition, you really can't get better. I oversee approximately 33 dietitians for Intermountain Medical Center in addition to three other facilities. MQII was presented to me and I thought, oh, this is perfect. This is a way for dietitians to really present more value to the healthcare system. We have the dietitian who is front and center in this project, but we had to reach out beyond our boundaries and cross disciplines. We get together as an entire team once a day and we discuss every single patient that we're taking care of as a team. As we provide an interdisciplinary approach to patient care, part of our role is helping to create clear communication, not only amongst clinicians, but then also with the patient. I knew I had to have a team. So I turned to one of our IT connections who used to be a dietitian. Dietitians can fill a lot of different roles. Informatics is actually one of those. And Kyle collected the data for us. And my job was to really analyze that and determine, are we on track? and from there we were able to bridge the gap between clinical and technology. A huge percentage, as much as 50% of individuals in the United States, especially seniors, are malnourished and often this malnutrition is not diagnosed. Malnutrition can be seen, but only really seen and established through a nutrition-focused physical exam. And the dietitian screening for malnutrition is seen by all the other care members. The malnutrition ECQMs and toolkit were a great tool for us to utilize. From the data, we formed a subcommittee team to look at how we're documenting malnutrition and then also developing a plan of care for patients with malnutrition. We are actually you know, having an impact of helping to improve patient satisfaction, decrease length of stay, and also decreasing readmission rates. MQII is a roadmap, and we do it really well. And now we're at the last piece, that last mile, transitions of care from hospital to primary care. Transition of care is something that we're working very hard on, and what we want to try to utilize is the best access for our patients, depending on the needs that they have. My role in that clinic is to be that individual's advocate when we're identifying malnutrition or food insecurity as a concern, understand where that's coming from, but then also figure out how do we partner with that patient to actually intervene and then see that through. You don't solve malnutrition in three days, it's all about what you do afterwards. As we continue down this road, I think that we will see less readmissions in our, in our patients and better outcomes. The MQII project has had a great impact. We saw physician documentation go from less than 3% diagnosis of malnutrition to hovering just below 10% of malnutrition documentation, which is, is around national benchmark. We are able to change the way patient care is done from becoming a reactive healthcare industry to a predictive healthcare industry. 
I think the involvement of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics is invaluable. It really shows that we're moving in a direction towards bringing value to the dietitians in the hospital and that we're being supported. Through MQII, we'll absolutely support and continue to, to grow the role and importance of dietitians. The impact of the care that you provide to your patients is invaluable, and so I would fully vet proceeding with some kind of a process to get MQII into whatever healthcare system that a person works in. The Academy is so proud of all of our members who have been involved in MQII. You all are doing great work in fighting malnutrition in the clinical and transitions of care settings. Thank you.